have hosted uh, sushi making. Reverend Deborah made soups, four different kinds of soups, and then I made my chocolates and confections, and then we had this buffet. We hosted a 4th of July celebration with a sing-along. Played music, we had lots of food, and we had lots of drinks. A uh, pickle making event. And last year, I did the Salmon Fest. Rolling rice and rolling dough, and it was really, really fun. There was sake involved, I will say. We broke bread and told stories, and it was the most fun event that I've had in a long time. Over the number of years we've created literally hundreds of events that as Jam Queen and I have touched thousands of lives in this community. My favorite part about the experience was really having the opportunity to get to know some other people a lot better. A genuine way of connecting with people. It was fascinating to hear people's stories and really get to know people beyond just church centric. It's really nice to be able to get a little deeper into somebody's life story or their sense of humor or you know those kind of things that you don't really get passing each other in church. What I love about Gourmet is for God is that it's an opportunity to expand my community. And it's an opportunity to raise funds for the church and do something you know great but also do it in a fun kind of way. When you gather with Gourmets for God there could be 20 people, 30 people and you don't know them all and you get that chance to really make new friends. Attending them is my way of meeting people. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love Gourmets for God. For God. And it's just a way to really connect on a deeper level to this community.